today is the day. My locks are starting to look better, but there is still a lot that needs to happen for these to look healthy. Not only look healthy, but actually be healthy. For the most part, they're all good, but let me show you what my hair is looking like right now and what we're gonna be doing to fix it today. I've been wearing my hair up, half up, half down, just with this little ponytail in the front and just let my hair hang a little bit in front of my face. I'm getting used to it more and more now versus how I used to have my hair. Like I'll just have it to the back, pull down to the sides. I'll take this down for you guys. And I feel like since I trimmed my locks, they just look a little bit more full. This iconic look right here. I find that majority of people on social media have their hair down like this. And this is what's popular right now. The downside for me is that I have glasses. So this just makes the glasses super oily. But I am starting to find that I don't really like this hairstyle as much as I used to. The hair to the sides actually looks a little bit better. But honestly, I've really been liking just pulling my hair up and having my hair cover my forehead like that. Obviously with the ponytail. But this hair in the front actually needs a lot of help. Let me show you which ones I'm talking about. So I have this lock over here right off the bat. I'll show you. You can barely even see it, literally. Golly, look at this. Not terrible. This tends to happen when your locks are right up against a taper fade. This, this can honestly come from me cutting my hair accidentally as I'm doing the taper fade. But realistically, this was a lock that was split in order to create this taper fade to begin with. So it was already skinny as it is. Let me walk you through how I'm gonna be fixing this lock. So I'm coming over to this mirror and what I'm gonna be doing today is combining this lock with a lock that's next to it. You guys can see the big difference right here, okay? You see this skinny lock, that bad. Like really, it's not terrible. There's I've seen worse locks than this. And then I'm gonna compare it to a lock that's right here and I'm gonna combine it with a lock that's right next to it and since this lock lays right on top of this what I'm gonna do is combine both of these and I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do it first things first I'll grab a crochet hook this is a 0.75 millimeter which is a perfect size for locking up quickly if you want to create instant locks or you want to combine locks like I'm gonna be doing today or you want to just maintain any frizz this is the perfect tool for you and I'll show you why. This is actually a very plain and simple process. I'm just going to lay them on top of each other like this. And as you can see, there's still a little bit of separation in between them. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that. I'm just gonna brighten you guys up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. But in order to merge these a little bit better, I'm gonna be taking a rat tail comb like this. And then I'm going to comb out the roots a little bit so that the roots can combine. Because you can see like a brick or a separation right here. And we're going to handle that by combing out the roots just a little bit, nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna go in and comb out the roots. You guys can see that the roots are pretty well combed out. It just looks more combined um, with this lock that is more mature. But just go in while combing it together. This step is important to make it look like it's one versus them being separated. But I'm combing these locks together and just continue to comb, continue to comb. And what you notice is it somewhat is combining. Now this obviously isn't gonna do all of the combining for you, but this is just combining the roots as best as you can. And this is gonna move us on to the next step to really tie this all together. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do a dry retwist. A dry retwist is retwisting with no product whatsoever. Now that you got these two locks, of course, there's still that little separation, but combing them helps out with combining them together and making sure that your roots are fully elongated. Now, of course, this isn't completely combining, but this does help make sure that there's not gonna be any tugging when it goes to actually combining these together. So now let's start the retwist process. I'm just gonna do a light retwist. This will just help them to pull together, making sure that I'm pushing all the other hair away because you don't wanna combine multiple locks, you just wanna combine these two. So just push all the extra hair away if you feel that it's getting pulled in, and just a little bit. Like, I'm just gonna twist a little bit. You see how that's now pretty well put together. And honestly, you could leave it just like this, but since we wanna instantly lock it up, I'm gonna grab my crochet hook, and then I'm going to be starting from the root, and you guys can see this separation. Obviously, it's two dreadlocks. You got these two locks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I'm going to face this needle towards my thumb. See where the hook is? It's facing towards my thumb, so it's scraping up against my thumb. I'm gonna go through, and you see how the needle is pushing away from my scalp. Never push the needle towards your scalp, because when you pull back, you're gonna end up pulling hair out of the scalp. So push through, away from the scalp, I'm pulling back in, and I wanna create my initial lock down by the base. So I keep going in and out. Once I pull through, I rotate the lock, go in and out, pull through, rotate the lock. Keep in mind how far away I am from the scalp as well. I'm about an inch away from the scalp. You can go as close as a half inch, but I wouldn't recommend going any closer than that. But I'm gonna go in and out. I'll play it real time for you guys so you guys can see how quick this can actually take place. Continue to go in and out and rotate while you're doing this. Keep doing it. And the whole point of this part right here is to create that first knot. Once you create that first knot, 
I'm back. And we're just gonna test to see how that first knot's going. So it's not fully combined yet. So what I'm gonna do now, what you can do, now I'm gonna be a little bit more specific with how I go in. So I'm gonna go through the big lock, grabbing the small lock. When you grab the small lock, you're gonna pull it through. So I grab the small lock with the, with the hook and pull it through. See that? I'm pulling through. So now I got that small lock in there. I literally pulled it straight through. Now I'm gonna twist. This is almost like locksmithing, but with the crochet hook. So I'm twisting, then I'm gonna push it back through the lock. And then now you just created a knot right there. And like, that's not gonna go anywhere because you pulled that lock through the middle of this lock. Now I'll just go in and out pretty rapid fire just to create more of a knot. Now it's gonna be pretty distinct. See where that knot is now? That's where I pulled it in. So now it's good to go. There's no tugging at the scalp. You can leave it like this if you wanna keep it into a Congo, but I'm gonna connect this all the way down to the tip. So I'll show you guys how quick this is gonna go. I will grab the lock like this to where the skinnier lock is behind the lock that I'm pulling it into. And the reason you wanna do that is because when you go through with the crochet hook, you're gonna end up going through. You're gonna end up going through with the crochet hook, grabbing this lock in the back, pulling it back through. Go through, grab the other lock, pull it in. This is the other lock coming through, going back through, grab the other lock, pull it in. Go through, grab the other lock, pull it in. Go through, grab the other lock, pull it in. And then continue this process and you'll see that that's pulling that in. But it's also important to rotate when you do this. That's what creates the lock. And always pour, pull towards your scalp. Because the only issue with pulling away from your scalp is if you pull away from your scalp, you're gonna be tugging at all these baby hairs. Because it'll pull like a few hairs at a time. If you pull a baby hair, it's gonna get really tight in one area and it can cause a lot of tension. A lot of tension can create traction alopecia and that just means that you're gonna have some pretty bad hair loss that doesn't look pretty. So this is how far I got the lock in. Now let's just continue the process. I'll continue this real time so you guys can see how good it goes down. But I'm just continuing. So I'm gonna go through, make sure you grab that lock from the other side and pull it through. Continue, continue, continue. And if you're worried about any breakage, like really don't worry about it. It's not gonna break the hair. And if it does, it's not gonna be as bad as if you, the lock would become skinny and the whole lock breaks off. It's more important to get into a healthy lock. And if any hair is breaking, it's getting broken off into the lock. And it's the skinny lock that's being broken, not the, the lock that it's maturing into. So realistically, you're not breaking anything off the scalp. It's gonna be healthy, it's gonna be fine. And as long as you're using the crochet hook right, you're gonna be completely fine. And just following the steps that I told you is how you use it properly. So now I got it to this point to where it's just a little bit left, and then I'll just do some detail work. But it's really that simple, just go through and make sure that you grab that lock on the other side. Let me try to get a closer shot for you guys. But like I said, just make sure you go in and grab that lock from the other side just like this. And I could even go through that other lock to get it to come through even better. So I'll go through, push through that lock, pull that lock through, and just do your best to get that lock through that lock. Even if it's just pulling frizz from one lock to the other but I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the rest of this lock together. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all finished. Now it's all said and done. This is what the lock is looking like. i will show you guys. You can see that it's just a huge difference compared to how it was. Just combined it. It's very simple to do guys. Just follow those easy steps of crochet hooking. And I think just being mindful to comb out your roots before doing any of this, just because you don't want any tugging at the scalp in the long run, because then that can just create a lot of tension and be very uncomfortable. But just follow the steps, guys. You can see how the end ended up. Um, leaving it pretty natural. I don't want to crochet hook it too much so that it looks natural to the rest of the locks. But there are plenty of other locks that are very skinny, especially up here, that I'm going to be taking care of in other videos. I'm going to show you guys different methods to fix skinny locks. Golly, I'm really bright. But for those that are new, I'm doing a little series to where I show you guys how I'm repairing a lot of the lock damage that I may have caused doing certain tests to see what would work on locks to help you guys out. Golly, and I need to like a lineup and a fade because bruh, my hairline is looking crazy. Thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and a well, and well, as well. Also comment down below if you need any help on certain things and I'll make a video on it just for you guys. If you have a question about your dreadlocks or your dreadlock journey, head over to the Lock Doctor channel. You can ask a question on there and I'll answer it specifically for you. And don't forget, if you need any products like the ones that I'm showing you right now, like a locking gel or a hair growth oil or the ACV shampoo or even a crochet hook like I used today in today's video on how to combine locks, you can get all these on greatlocks.com and you can get them for 10% off if you join the newsletter, which is on the site. So you can go get those now. But thank you guys for making it all the way to the end. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace. God bless.